No, one hundred percent right though. Um, body dysmorphia is definitely um, one reason as to why people um, are of a larger size, and I feel like the, one of the massive issues is that when you look at people of a larger size, is that people naturally associate with laziness, and they feel like a person is of this size because it's of their own free will. Like you said, people associate it with people that are always the extreme cases. Like you see, like in America, like a six hundred pound man and. Mm. 700 pound woman or whatever and they think you see people that are gluttons you know what i mean like they are literally fat fucks that are literally just content with eating themselves to death and then people kind of just see that as the proxy for every other person that is of a similar size or smaller mm. and they think that that's the way it is but you're right body positivity is one of the reasons and also um biologically people's um uh Fat people's bodies don't um, break, don't metabolize the same way skinny people's do. In the sense that, I f- you'll probably know this, but you know when um, fat cells get. Oh, I hope you do. <laughs> Basically, when fat cells, um, they, I, I was watching the Joe Rogan experience. Basically, when fat cells come into the body, there's two inputs on one output, which just do the whole breakdown. But their bodies are wired differently, so they aren't able to break down the fat to obviously use it for energy. So, yeah, fats are h- harder to break down. Then. No, but the thing is, you, all three of us are able to, let's say, eat a cake and our bodies will handle the digestion of it in three different ways. You know what I mean? Like, okay. obviously, he's naturally bigger than me, so his body will hold on to it more, but mine will just burn it off super quick. Maybe because you eat on a regular basis. Sometimes, like... Just, no, but if, naturally, naturally, there's three different types of body types. There's endomorph, ectomorph, and mesomorph. Okay. So, but... If you could explain the three... Um, so from you know, memory, it's not a test. It's not a test. No, you can't just say it without us. No, you can, and you just did. It's because we're going for a dark. I thought we were talking about body dysmorphia. Really? Man, this linked to it. It was linked to it. We literally talk about how people have different body types, and then like you could be a bigger person, and then oh, sure. you might see yourself sure. as smaller. So that could play a reason. That could play a role in you, like keep eating because you think oh no I'm much smaller than what I am but mm. you really are does it like... work that way as well whether like, you're actually fat but you think you're skinny see I thought body was my thought did the opposite like, I thought you... it was that way <laughs> yeah <laughs> it can go both ways like, ch- like Chad he's got body dysmorphia he sees himself as so much smaller than what he is really yeah I thought he saw himself okay no. so he, he thinks he's skinny but he it's... thinks he's a twig oh and wow he's... I always thought it was the reverse whereby no it goes both ways your... body dysmorphia literally goes both ways People think that it's always like... I think it's slightly different because body mis- dysmorphia in women is slightly different to body dysmorphia in men. In terms of men... That men, was another thing I was talking men, about Men well. always, or some guys with body dysmorphia will see themselves smaller than they actually are. They've got tons of muscles, but they don't see themselves as big because they always think that they need more muscles here, more muscles there. Yeah. And that they need to grow bigger and stronger. And, and that leads to a big problem in today's society with steroids use. I mean, in the UK, over 1 million men use steroids just to get bigger. Mm-hmm. And they don't use it for that's health that's issues. More, they, isn't it? No, they tend to use it for cosmetic reasons, to look bigger, to get that size, to, to look more attractive you know, to women, you know, to get that, that love that island is, you know body. know what that is, though? Because we are told to... Society, look, the people are trying to tell us that you should love a woman for being morbidly obese... But these same people won't tell you to love a man if he's late, um, morbidly obese. That's a general fact. 100%. No, no, you can't tell. No. 100%. Do you, do you feel like society's treatment of fat men and fat women is the same? No. In the sense that, like, I, I literally feel like the men... Were, uh, because think about it. Like, a woman, because she's supposed to be the image of, like, femininity and, like, beauty and everything, it's like, just adore her for how she is. As a guy, because we are more mainly perceived of what we provide, they'll be like, you're a fat fuck. They will literally... Like, think about it. I'm pretty sure that... Boy, it's, a hard, it's a hard comparison to make, but I feel like maybe secondary school, more fat boys get bullied than fat girls. It's a really hard metric to kind of gauge it, but nah. I'm saying it's just a personal experience. No, nah, I think women have it tough in society. I feel like women... All judge them, I feel like women put a, pr- a lot of pressure on themselves. But I, in, in regards to overt, like, what do, what do you call it, fatism? I don't know, fatism, yeah? I feel like men would definitely get a large brunt of it. I don't think that's the case. You know I, I, think, so? I think it's women. 
Yeah. Do you think so? You think women will get slandered more about being overweight? Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. Especially grown women because puberty happens at that age. Mm-hmm. Different body get different girls say, are right, having yeah, yeah, different yeah, right, shapes. Right, so and all women sudden. definitely getting more, but I feel like yeah. society's guys, more, society's no one talks about guys. Hmm? No one talks about fat guys. Exactly. We like no, slide. Like, There's I, nothing I, wrong. I, like if a, yeah, a fat guy walked into a room, girls are still finding him attractive. Yeah. There wouldn't be a problem. They say cuddly. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, see, it's, it's more in regards to the body, body positivity movement that you see it more vocal from the women's side than it than from the men's side. That's what I was alluding to. Sorry. It's, it's a conversation that's needed to happen. Because, yeah, people, as I said, like the tabloids will slander fat women, but fat guys. Take, for yeah. example, that guy from Made in, is it Made, not Made in Chelsea. The Only Way is Essex. Arge. Uh, Arge has got a serious problem now. Arch has a problem. No one takes what's, a what's, piss what's, No, what's like he's the obesity serious. Like what's since the man? pandemic, what, since lockdown, what's like he, he got significantly with? better. You know, he's had to get surgery to get a gastric band because it's but, been that bad. That's why he has a serious but problem. But he was really thin, right? He yeah. was relatively, he kept losing the weight and gaining it. That's the thing. But the thing it's about it as well is that he was always judging Gemma. Like he was, the way he treated Gemma. And for him to be worse or Physically worse shape the Gemma is. That's the shocking thing. This body does this multi of things. Also, a mental. It's actually a mental health condition. That's yeah, it. for sure. Yeah, man, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, and I think and it's, it's not just not just with weight. It's also I think I was talking to someone that was saying telling me it's also included with like if you get like loads of tattoos over you because apparently you're not content with. Some people do like, that to yeah. cover up their bodies. They get yeah. tattoos because it, it, it kind of hides your shape and size. Yeah, does, it does. Really yeah, they're, they're yeah, it does it really though? Yeah, but does it really though? People, people are just genuinely unhappy with the way. <laughs> no, I get it, but does it actually hide your shape though? Yeah. Would you say you suffer from body dysmorphia? No, no, I'm very, well, I'm very well aware of my size. Not just size. Just in, are you content with how you are now? Like, if you were given ample money right now, mm-hmm. would oh, you, would I, would I, would I get you done? Yeah. No, I don't know. Probably. What? I don't, it's not. It's not that I'm unhappy about my size. It's just that I constantly strive to change it. In what sense? Like, if I feel like I'm too big, then all of a sudden I will try to shrink down. And if I feel like I'm too small, then I try to to get bigger. Like it. Like it. Whenever I look at myself, it's never. You're never really satisfied. You know what I mean? I feel like the fundamental the thing question is, is sorry, sorry to cut you off. Is like, do you feel? Just because that's everyone, do you feel like you're in control of your weight? I feel like that's what it all hinges on. Because if you feel like you're in control of your weight, like say for instance, if you say you feel like you've got too big, if you feel like you're, you know that you can snap it back to however you want it to, then your that's solution, right. your list of solutions is far wider than someone that's literally like, I have got no control. Like I know that I'm an all or nothing type They don't person. necessarily think they have no control. No, I know just... someone that literally said that they have no control. That may be one person, but... But that, I'm sure that one person isn't like they're normally of, of this. Yeah. Of the whole, there'll be more people like them. But yeah, in in general, it's not if, okay. Fair enough. And also, like no, on a side point of what you just said before about Chad, like I think a lot of people because I go gym often. <clears> a lot of people that go gym that have the big size and all that, they don't see themselves that big. They no, they imagine. always see themselves as smaller because there's a guy that's bigger than them, or there's photos around and they can see Arnold, or they can see someone that looks. Physically, like stronger and bigger, and they want to have and that. They're looking size. for like the weaknesses in their body. That's it. And the thing about it is, like, when you work out, is that there's constantly a weakness. There's that, like, we've all been to the gym and stuff. That there's an area that you want to improve. You want to get bigger arms, bigger shoulders, bigger legs, bigger chest, the bigger. And then you're constantly striving for that again and again and again, and you don't find satisfaction. Mm-hmm. A big problem about today's society is that we don't say, "All right, this is enough," or we don't. Often, guys aren't told, "All right, you're perfect the way you are," or that you've got a great shape or you're beautiful. Or I love something about you physically. Like we love doing that to women. Whenever we see a woman say, ah, oh, I love your, I love your legs. I love your bum. I love your, your chest or whatever. But guys aren't given that same opportunity. And that's a sad thing. And that's what leads to a lot of issue these days. I mean, it, like, so you expect me to go to another guy and tell him that. <laughs> Hey. Thick he thighs. Was so, he was yeah. so quiet. No, he just, he, he just processing it, thinking this idiot. So you sent me to go to someone in the gym. No, but for instance, like if we were to live, look at the typical Love Island bodies or the bodies that we like looking at, at TV or the Clive and the Clive and Klein models. <laughs> Clive and Van Klein. Gaul. Clive and 
climb and climb models. Like we want Calvin them to. Yeah. yeah, that's what she said. You see Calvin. You say Calvin. Calvin Klein. <laughs> You're right. I know him anyway. Like if you were to look at the simple Calvin Klein models, like you'd want them to have that six pack or that tone body or that good shape. Mm-hmm. And we don't give the we we as guys we find that as the acceptable shape or the the go to shape, and that's the shape that we admire. And yeah. we, I know we don't talk about it often, but that's something that we need to. But we need to change. We but need you're to thinking find, like, it stems from that, but in actual fact, apparently causes of body dysmorphia can be genetics, so OCD or depression, a chemical imbalance in the brain, or traumatic experience. Fair enough. So, no, all I'm saying is that the beauty standards for guys needs to change as well, the same way it's changing for women. True, but and we but, need to. But it, it, it's true, not but, even up to that stage. It's before mm. that, that's the reason why they're having this, these problems. Yeah. And, like, like yeah. he was saying as well, the beauty standards needs to check. Like, I feel like I as a guy, you can, I feel like as a guy, you can get by looking. You don't have to look the best as a guy. Generally, you don't have to look the best as a guy, though. I feel like it's harder for a woman because, you know, it's all a large part of it is to do aesthetics, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, So, like, yeah, definitely in that sense. But I don't know, man. It's... I think we're all... I think I can speak for all of us when I say we're all in agreement in a sense to, like, live your life however you wish to do so. And of what well, I, I was waiting for the but sorry no no live, live your life how you want to do so and obviously if you are happy at whatever size you are then that's your own business like we're not it's not gonna we're not gonna lose any sleep over it but I just feel personally that people should kind of be mindful of especially if you got a platform as well kind of be mindful of the message that you kind of put out like the same way if someone was super anorexic telling people that. If you're like a size or a model and people are saying, and they're saying, yeah, this is, like you've got a YouTube video telling people like this is the best way to get in shape. I don't feel like that's the best message to put out there and saying like, yeah, you should love your body when it's like this, when it is literally on the brink of failing the same way it is for the upper end of the scale. But they're accepting their body and they're loving the body the way it is. And that's what the but, message but is. Let's be real, size is it. But do you feel like that's, this is all it comes down to again. Do you feel like it's a healthy size? Pride it doesn't matter about healthy size. And it what? does matter as because if you're happy, like you're the whole happy. purpose of life is for vitality, sustenance. It's like saying like, okay, cool. <laughs> if you're happy, you're happy at that size. It doesn't matter if you're ultra skinny or ultra fat. My my or my that, 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 well, my stance is that like, listen for me personally, like I would tell so I would what I would walk okay, a cool. If I became morbidly obese, yeah, would you? If I started to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, yeah, would you mind saying anything to me? Nope. Would you? I would. Why? Because I don't know. There's something about <laughs> observations and just <laughs> just saying it out loud. Why would you say it to mock you? Honestly, <laughs> no. But yeah. why? 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 Why would you? And why wouldn't you say if I became like balloon? I feel like it's it comes back to me being fat fat phobic. That's why I'm making. I'll address it. Okay. It's bad. Like those little micro. But, 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 okay, but, oh, you put on weight this lockdown. But then. But is it a case if you're saying it because you want me to be healthier or you're saying it just because you just don't like the fact that I'm fat? Because that's what it, that's another distinction as well. Does it matter? I think, I think it's obviously in, in my head, I won't be I won't be thinking, okay. He wants yeah, to say because I'm fat. No, 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 it's it's not like it's it's that, 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 that's, that's actually the truth. It's because you're fat. So it's not, I, oh, no, but so no, you no, was, you as, as, much, of my as, as much as much as I want oh, to think about awkward. your health it is, huh? deep down. Yes. It's because, like... You don't like it, fat people. No, it's not just that I don't like fat people. It's just, this is how we're programmed in society. That like, if we see a fat person, we just say that's wrong. We don't even know why we say it's wrong. No. But it's just because everyone else says it's wrong. And that's I why I just say it. But no, but deep, deep down, if I were to think about it, I'd be like, okay, yeah, it's because it's unhealthy. And all that shit. Does it matter about the intention if the message is the same? Yeah, 100% it does. It doesn't. It does. It doesn't. It doesn't. Man calls you fat. He calls you fat. It doesn't matter if he thinks that you're fat because you're unhealthy or you're fat because no, it you're unattractive. Because, because, because he one, said it. No, because one because one can come from a place of love and I want you to like be, be a help, like be, I want your body to be healthy. I want you to live longer and be healthier. Another one is literally just being like, I'm just doing this to be malicious. 100% are two different things. No, but he said the same thing. 
It's up to you how you but, interpret but, it. But okay, but it's then, up to you how to interpret. But, but he if, said that message. If, if they said, said the message and they can explain the reasons why, of course. Oh, you're but, waiting for but, the explanation. Is, well, I wouldn't. I, I thing, wouldn't. Though. I wouldn't expect him to go. Mm, okay, not him. But this. I would exactly. expect. <laughs> I would expect exactly. you. Okay, exactly. He, 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 we already know what he's on. He, he would just say straight away. Would you? Why wouldn't you say anything to me if I became? Because it's none of my concern. I expect. So if you saw that I was literally like Arj. Honestly, I, I expect us as we all grow older What's the to fl- put on more and more weight What's the and to get bigger. Lauren, if I became no. Arja size. No. So to clarify, you oh. wasn't he the one just saying, ah, oh, his was too big. That was a problem. What? So, so you would say you so you would see me get to a uh, He was with, he he was too big because he said he went live on TV and said he was too big. That's why I said he was too big. He said it himself. Just Honestly, me. if you're to pack on weight, it's not was, a problem. I was for watching me. a TikTok fat uh, fat person saying that. They don't like it when people come up to them and call them fat. They don't like it when people understandably so make those little microaggressions and say, "Oh, uh, you put on some weight." Or I can't think of anything now, but I'm sure if I was to present a fat person here, Tevin will be able to. We'll be on a roll. Boom, uh, <laughs> boom, she would. <laughs> I would do that. See, look at this guy. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. Like, oh, this is, oh, for fuck's sake. When I talk, please don't distract me. <laughs> oh, I will forget. All right, go on. So you're saying, you were trying to say something along the lines of like, um, fat people don't like being told that they're fat and other microaggressions. Because you saw a TikTok of a big woman. Yeah, so we should just leave them as they are. If, if no, that is my point. No. Leave them as they are. Let me explain though. You can't leave them as they are. You can't are. because they don't care about it. They get, they get, they get you, this abuse you, everywhere. You, you say you, you, education. I'm not talking plus. about a random person. I'm literally talking about your friend. Yeah, even your friend. Somebody, I'm sure they'll, somebody they'll be getting this abuse somebody from somebody several people. That's it. But you can't say that because some people are in genuine denial. We can't make the assumption that every single big person. Think about it. If everyone walks around, so you're saying we should have an intervention? No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, I'm gonna be so real. I'm gonna be so, 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 so real. Truth. Any of my people, if they got balloon, I would chat to them and say like, "We want to be real to you. Like, I feel like you've put on a bit of weight. Like, like, what's the reason behind this?" And then this I is have how, a conversation this is how about body it. dysmorphia occurs. It's not yeah. that. And people no, will then not. want to be no, ultra skinny. Not, uh, because listen, of, cool. If the people, if the people want to try and cook me, like as a result of that, then so be it. But my stance is generally, I feel like if I'm saying it to you, if I'm having, if I'm trying to have a discussion with you from a place of love and a place of care, because I'm genuinely cared about your well being, I don't feel there's anything wrong with that. If everyone, if everyone was like him, and that's from your perspective. Or that fat person But as I said, I have a rapport With the person though It's like I said, I'm, I'm not quite a random person I'm saying like For you Or him No I can't lie If I gain size Then leave no, me alone No 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 Leave me alone No I, Leave me alone I, I, It's I, none I, of your I, business I want to say that too It's none of your business don't, don't, No I mean, Honestly no. it's got nothing it's, to do yeah, with I know, you I hear it but I'm saying But you're saying no I, like, I say that I don't want to no, hear it No 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 Don't forget Just walk by me It's my duty as your friend Because me This is what I'm just saying You guys Okay what I feel like as well Like people gaining weight Is also one of the very first indicators People are going through stuff Correct well, you can ask them, is everything all right at home? That's fine. But you don't need to say, look, you're kind of getting bigger. Like, you're, you're getting fat. Obvi- like, okay, is ob- something going wrong? Like, okay, obviously, I'm not going to say I'm going to yeah. lead with your fat, what's going on. But I mean, like, in the sense of, like, I would try to, like, be like, is everything okay? And they're like, whoa, yeah, why? Well. See, that's the line that you want to drop. <laughs> well. That's, the, that's <laughs> what you're really waiting here's, for. Here's another one. You as know well. what I like, mean? We always associate fat with the fact that they're eating too much. But well, yeah. it actually might be a medical condition. Why are you smiling as you're saying that? Because we always forget that. <laughs> Who's true. we? That's all true. of us. We, no, we don't. We've had, we've had, just, well. we've had an hour well. conversation about fat well. people where none of us mentioned yeah. it could be medically. That's true. That's uh, true. I wouldn't say, like if someone got no, bigger, I wouldn't say. No, you no, no, you said this. Fred said this sis thing. What about, is, when you say. But med- she was still fat, regardless. but. <laughs> 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 No, like her, her, obviously her stomach ballooned out further, but if you saw her arms and everything else, like that African, yeah. But um, <laughs> that turbo charger, I'm bingo like, wings. I, mean, <laughs> I just want to say one thing. Do you think I sent you guys a video about? It was a TikTok video, and they linked fat that phobia with racism. racism. Mm. Do you think there's any like truth to this, or, sure, or do you wild. think that she's just reaching? I've seen quite a few people talk about the links between um, like fat phobia and racism. Like, man. Mm. Like, man. I, honestly, I, 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 I swear to you, like, I'm sick and tired of everyone having a think, having think piece for everything in this world. Sometimes Just I understand that life isn't black and white yeah. and it's literally like, 
a complete rainbow. But there are certain things that they don't have to be dissected. Like it's Dave's bars. Not everything has to be literally like seen with a microscope. Like with a microscope. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, bro, come on, man. What's I your opinion? That. I agree. I don't watch the whole thing. I didn't watch it either. I didn't watch it either. On that note? No, wait, wait. Concluding remarks. Concluding remarks, yeah. Cool. Be whatever size you want to be. Huh? No, no, no. Cool. I'm No, honestly. Be whatever size you want to be, but but <laughs> don't like be in denial as well. 100%. Like, they're but they're walking... not in denial. They're living their, no, they're, some they're living their life. They are out there, walking on the street. Some, 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 some people are in denial. And some people are in denial, for sure. A lot of that's body dysmorphia. Yeah. It's the no. Nah, so in that case, then they require making, then they require treatment, and that's like CVT and that, medical that's, treatment. We're, we're, that's that's under the assumption that it is body dysmorphia. That's not the case in every single person. You said how many people? Does it affect? Yeah, you brought the stat a minute ago. He brought the stat. No, though. He did. did. Body dysmorphia. You did. No, it's yeah. like one in fifty people. But I didn't mention that. You never said that. I didn't. The body dysmorphia. You didn't bring up a stat. No, I did. Steroids. I'm so sure you brought up. Oh, sorry. But yeah, at a certain point, we've got to address the elephant in the room. <sighs> what about the fat phobic quiz? Is there a quiz? There was no quiz. I tried to find, I can, I can give you some of the, the common examples of, they say things that are, um, where is it? Uh, okay. 13 signs, okay, apparently, 13 signs you're actually a fat phobic piece of shit. Oh. You buy plus size clothing from thrift stores so you can tailor other items down to fit your size of your body. That's white people stuff. Wow. People did that. Do that. So. Apparently. You use the O word. The term obese is a slur, violent, dehumanizing, it's anti black. So, no, anti black. <laughs> the racism thing. Obese, Yawn. Anti, no, no. You post weight loss progress pictures of yourself. Apparently, that's fat for a So, bit. you can't do anything nowadays. Do you, do you, do you, got you, that's the difference. I caught, you may have actually read all the other stuff. Like, I've been reading bits, of, like, a lot of this. That's why it's like, it's just like, I can't believe half of this is bullshit. Another one, um, you purposely gain weight, but refuse to gain enough weight to become a unattractive level of fat. So technically, you're fat phobic then. <laughs> But I don't think so I, do you're you, fat do you I don't that? think it's Sorry, possible so, for me to be unattractive. Read that again. <laughs> you purposely gain weight but refuse to gain enough weight to become an unattractive level of fat. Unattractive level of fat. So you already know it's yes. unattractive. Who would willingly want to become unattractive? But I don't know. Some people want to gain weight. That's what I'm saying. It's like people gain weight. You know what I mean? Like, and then you technically gain fat with the weight. Even if you gain muscle, you gain um, fat as well with it. Um... You only own slash wear... <laughs> nah, this is the worst. You only own slash wear the football jerseys of non-fat players. But there aren't any... Fat... American, American okay, football. Okay. Uh, oh, no, nah, this is worse. You're pregnant. Mm. Apparently, if you're no, pregnant, that's fatphobic. Right. No, Skinny people intentionally... This is just not... No, no, no. I, I, I don't even know why no. I gave them the time. Yeah, honestly. No. Skinny, <laughs> skinny people nah. getting pregnant... Skinny people intentionally getting pregnant is... Actually, stolen valor. Did you earn that belly, or did you rely on a man to inseminate you in order to get it? I heard that. Fat people's bodies. I said straight away from the first one. On that note, you've been listening to me for Lauren. Sorry, see, I got, I got, I said, I got, I got. This is the funny. This is a funny one. Fred's the Fred might be. I don't know. You give up your seat on chains for pregnant slash fat people. Not for fat person. Remember that time. Remember that time on the um, on the train when um, I remember I showed the tweet where a woman um, like in the rush hour, um, a guy got up and said, "Oh, sorry, sit down." She said, "Why?" He said, "Oh, yeah, because you're pregnant." He said, "No, I'm not." And literally, the whole carriage just went <laughs> silent. I wouldn't give my seat up for a fat person, if, even if, like if they're really big and they're struggling to. Like, That's your own business. Up. That's <laughs> of course not. Only elderly and pregnant people. Because they'll stru- um, probably struggle to sit in a chair anyway. Anyway. Anyway, you've been listening to Falaran. <laughs> Falaran, a fat phobic. You've been talking Don't to uh, Tesmo. To be fair, he has a point. Unless if it's the Bakerloo line, because the Bakerloo line doesn't have partitions. Have you there. ever been on a plane before and someone with fat has ever like tried to sit beside you and had to buy a TC? No, no. Ryanair has no. to get forces on to buy a TC. Oh, <laughs> no. Make, yeah. no they, they genuinely can't fit in it. Like I myself am like, like, this is a bit of a tight squeeze. Yeah. So maybe the world is fat phobic that we're not considering. But it's not fat phobic. Like there, there is a there is an average weight, and if you are literally in surplus of it, deep it, we've taken into account your size, and you still, despite being an outlier, do not literally fit the bill. 
for what the average size should be. Outliners are supposed to exist. Yeah, it's true. It is, it is. So, boy. So, you're saying they shouldn't be on the plane? They shouldn't. I'm fine with them anywhere. The be, plane, do whatever everywhere. you want, but I'm just saying, mm. yeah, be whatever you want. Ah, oh, come on, Tevin. You don't believe that. Anyway. Ha, who the fuck? No, no. Okay, cool. Say for instance, okay, cool. Say for instance, if I was like, I need to get the last flight somewhere. And then, ah, oh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Blobby, he's taking both seats because he's that big. Oh, I'll be fuming, bro. I'll be, exactly. bro, I'll be cussing him out. Like, bro, why are you so big? If you're not so big, then I would have been able to get on that seat as well. Exactly. Like, see, you know, even, that's even, fair even if there was sufficient oh, seats. That's targeted angle. Even if there was not... sufficient seats for everyone on the plane. Don't, I, I, am sure, sure. I know he's going to say bullshit. Sure. Call him bullshit. Call no, him bullshit. All of us, all of us will make a passing comment in our head that, wow, they're so huge. Why I mean, are they I, so huge? Not me. I, I, I wouldn't care. Not me. If, if you're fat, Where you see... Okay, okay. No, I could. Uh, let's obviously like you can't avoid the elephant in the room, like them, in the sense that they obviously like they are of such a large size. Like my main, my main thing would be it's so it even might this, be a bit even of a this of the Look at him; it's still insulting them now. That's it. <laughs> the elephant and you're saying, and you said no, you won't do it. There's so many caveats when you say. You when I said that, I don't. I wouldn't insult her. You said that you'd be. No, oh, I mean, I'm put. Oh. That was unprovoked. And on that note, <laughs> it's been a, uh, yeah, so it's been episode 56 and uh, we we, uh, we we stumbled across the finishing line. No? You're not going to pick the low-hanging fruit? Okay. The what? Nope. You're not going to pick the low-hanging fruit? No, no, no. Mm, okay. So yeah, we stumbled across the finishing line and um, yeah, that was episode 56. So. Just being cautious of my weight here. Huh? To be fair, I, 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 do, I, do, I do go to gym to not be fat. And that's why I'm fat phobic, according to the definition. I go gym for fun, I'm not fat phobic. But you've been listening. But, wow, Bagger you've on. been listening to Falaran. We've said we've said goodbye like four times. We now. haven't said goodbye. <laughs> Fred hasn't said goodbye. I'm waiting for Fred to come in. Oh yes, do you, do you want to practice some bagals while we wait for Fred so I can make it into a clip? Um, bagal. What am I just meant to just keep saying bagal different type, different ways? At least three times. Bagal. Bagal. Fred, do you want to do your... Pull the plug. Bagel. Yeah. Do you want to do a pull the plug? Pull the plug. Say more energy. Pull the plug. Okay. Oh, no. No. That's not it. <laughs> pull the plug. <laughs> pull it. Open the door. Close the door. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, gosh. Would you want your kids to be obese? Why would you want your kids to be obese? Perfect. Would you want your kids to be obese? Because he's all about, he's all about just, it is what it is, it's a minor. I would love them any shape they are. It's not about loving them. Like, cause no one, no one says you're going to love. We no are, we are saying, we are saying we won't love them any less. Yeah. Obviously his love is contingent on their BMI. As they no, it's keep not. going up and up. It's like a... I don't know what it should be. That's not my child. That's not what it should be. You just said, would Unless you it, want your kids to be obese? Why would I want them to be obese? I won't want them to be obese. No, but he, well, he's, he's got, got nothing to do with love. No, of course. <laughs> he, but obviously, me and you have the same uh, mindset that it's like, I wouldn't want my child to be obese. But Falar and has always been vocal but, about no. he wouldn't care whether they were obese No, but if and if they were, so I wouldn't care. That's it. But I wouldn't want them to be obese. It's the same way. I wouldn't want them to be... <laughs> what that? No. Whoa. Yeah, and you say the same thing with. No, what's that? What does that mean? Shy. No. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Nah, he's I'm gonna tell us. You know what he's doing. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know what he's doing. No, I find it acceptable. I don't mind. I don't so mind. no, but would you be? I love my kids. I just not, understand how they are like, fine. Okay, would you rather your child? Okay, would you rather your child be of normal size? Yeah, of a healthy weight or unhealthy weight. I wanted to be that, healthy. That, that, I wanted to. You're right. <laughs> what, 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 what do you want to say? I want my child to be unhealthy. I tried to catch him out. You're right. I tried to catch him out. And also, you want your kids to be normal because normal, 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 normal. No, it's not. Meaning what? The majority. You don't want them to be an outlier. Exactly. Exactly. You want them to go fine through life without struggling at all. You want them to be normal. I'm taller than average. So I'm not. Why, how did you bring height into this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate this fucking bastard. I hate this Why are you six foot three? We're sitting you down as well, but anytime you want. We're even sitting down. This nigga's like, oh, yeah, like. Why are you six foot three? You can talk about it. Anytime you know, they're there when they tattoos as well. They're always like putting the tattoos in the pictures. <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Would you ever get a tattoo? Would I ever get a tattoo? Yeah, yeah. I'm tempted now. What do you want to get? Probably my mum's birthday on the rib, but I don't think she would even like it. So it's just for me. So I don't know. It would be for you, though. Yeah. Um, might get like a leg sleeve. 
A leg, I don't get yeah. this leg sleeve yeah, like, that you've uh, always wanted. Lower half, innit? It's literally just like here. Of what though? That's the thing. I don't know what. I've, so that's, that's why. It. That's why. That's why I've never got it. Because like, I don't know what I'm gonna spend the money on. Yeah. So I don't just. I don't want to just wake up one day and think. Let me. It's gotta go. Yeah. This. This, this was. This was one of those things that Fred's peer pushed me into. Like, yeah, do it. I'm like, ah, oh, <laughs> Fred, Fred, man. <laughs> Fred, would you get a tattoo though? I was. I don't know. I was thinking maybe like a QR code. But I don't know what I want to scan as. I can imagine that. This guy will send you. That's jokes. This guy will literally that'll just be jokes. have something like tickets to cargo. Or box, box, shoulder. Like, oh, have you, have you got your car, mate? Uh, <laughs> I got it right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Frigid. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what we're doing for the next challenge, anyway. As long as you're prepared. But what, cargo? <laughs> we can do Cardiff for the challenge. Can't do cargo for a challenge. There's nothing there. Oh, uh, maybe for okay, next Monday. Okay, get as many numbers there. as possible. I don't want to beat you guys in the other challenge. So let's, let's stop. Wait, else. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> let's you choose something you, else. Wait, you think you can bag the most out of us three? 100%. Yeah, forget about Cardiff. No, 100%. Let's do Cardiff. I can do Cardiff. No, stop. You think you can bag I'm the most? Wait, though. you think you can bag. We're doing Cardiff. What do you mean? You? I'm doing. No, because you're not going Birmingham that weekend. No, I'm still going Cardiff. I told you. I'm still going Cardiff. Oh, you don't know. I thought it was already booked. No, no, I'm still going Cardiff. I need to speak to my guys back home, but I'll confirm this week. Stop, stop, stop. myself and Olu down. Wait, you genuinely think you can bag more than us two combined? For Lauren. Combined. Yeah. Flying. Combined. You're going to let him talk to you like that? You think combined. He, 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 I'm just clear oh, about okay. Cardiff Not right the same now. venue because the girls will all see each other, but combined, I can do it. You can bag more than me. Okay. <laughs> combined. Uh, you know what, I, was, I like you combined. Combined. Probably all right. Combined. But you Cardiff, probably are correct. And Believe down myself. Down huh? Myself and Olu. Now for Cardiff. Okay. Cool. Scummy weekend. Oh, you might have got a I know you don't be such bad. a filthy weekend. I know you don't be bad. Yeah, the high I need to do it soon as well. I need to start and things because it's probably six weeks away isn't it? six seven weeks where's Brent I don't know like we're just chilling I don't know I think well look at this is the Indian outfit I wanna is it called Sawa Kameez was that the woman's one did know. you go to the tailor to get it done or it's actually really nice you it's know Upton Park this is actually really nice I don't nice. know if I should buy it how much is it 225 <laughs> Let's see. Palm, Palm Angels, the Palm Angels will do you, get you right. Yeah, I can't lie. Palm, Palm Angels will get, get you right. Get yeah, little no. off white, <laughs> little off white. The Harry's discount as well. well. <laughs> Two twenty five for that includes tailoring, and then you get the trousers. You're gonna get it for one day. Wear it for one day. Yeah. No, it's calm. Jeez. It's no, good no, friends, no, man. But I can't lie. Yeah, if it was one of my friends, I'll do that as well. See, it's gonna be done. What Who, did you do for your birthday? I chilled. I had a good day. The good day. How's beefy today? Same for another time. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is just came off of my finger right now. Let's Low self esteem, self hate towards my body because it was different. I always we can talk about it for enjoyed five minutes and wearing cut it in. a bikini. What? Okay. I don't I don't feel like it's right for people. No, like obviously it just came up on a snap now, like I don't know if I can go back to the beginning, but I don't feel like it's right for people to go and shame her because she wants to wear a bikini. That's completely fine. Like, yeah. be confident in yourself. But and if she's making strides, but I'm saying the people that are absolutely vocal about saying that, like, this is normal. Except as in, this. Be as, in, as in, like, it is healthy to be this way. That's okay. that's the only thing. For me, it's just the healthy slogan. Yeah. You, you can say you can be happy. You can be happy of that way. That's, that's your own business. But don't. But when they say health, health. Do, are they talking about their mental health or are they talking about their physical, physical health? Because physical. it could be mental health because it's okay for you to be this. Yeah, but yes, I was say, yeah. that's what, obviously I associate happiness with mental health, innit? So if you're saying that I'm happy at this size, then I would assume that you're mentally happy as well in regards to that. You're mentally good. No? Is that is that reach? It's slightly different. Uh, is it? How? Mental, no, because you can it's be like mentally saying, ill or have a mental illness mm -hmm. and be happy. Think about someone who is um, what's the word? What's the word when you're like really sad and then really happy? Um, Schizophrenic? No. Bipolar? Bipolar. Bipolar. Like they're really happy. They're happy with themselves one day. Next day that they're, they're really sad and really angry, but they're happy at that time. Melt mental illness isn't just about happiness. It's an illness at the end of the day. True. <clears throat> no. But yeah, man. Like, what's your stance on fat people going to the gym? But I can't like I generally avoid looking at them. Why? Because why? let me explain why. Because I thought I realized I saw a video or a picture of them. Um, when a bigger person goes to the gym, they're naturally a lot more self-conscious. 
of their size and you know when, I don't know when I first maybe a bit different for you and you because obviously you guys are bigger than me but when I first went to the gym I was very very self-conscious I was always looking around because I thought people would be looking at me because I'm doing much smaller weights so in my head it was like I didn't ever want to kind of be like mocked for it so I'm aware that obviously for people on the other side that they'll be conscious of people who might be staring at them so I literally try to act as if they're not even there as I'm like just, uh, you're just another person. Trying to make them yeah. feel comfortable. Yeah, you're just another person just doing yeah. your, you're on your own journey. And it's like mm. salute to you for trying to make strides to improve I yourself, agree. whether it's mentally or physically, in it. Yeah. So I will never be, even if you're like morbid a bit, I'll never look at you because I feel like it's just so rude. You try and make them feel comfortable. Yeah, like you're just another person in the gym doing, mm. going in, whatever your journey is, in it. Mm. I hear that. So I respect that. I respect but yeah, that. what's your opinion on fat people in the gym? I'm not good, good on them. Yeah, same. I'm happy for them. It's if I can train them or show them a technique or show them something to yeah. do, then I'm, I'm all down. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. Funny story. Yeah. So in Guildford, yeah, um, I was at um, a gym with one of my housemates and um, he's, uh, how you say in English? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Um, no, he, you know, yeah, he, he's, he's upper echelon. Okay. But if you can read between the lines. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, we were at the gym and, um, we were just, I was just, we were just chilling, just doing our own thing. 